So okay, welcome back to my channel. Uh, so this is going to be the first video in a string of videos that are going to be dedicated to, to making um, kind of vegan egg substitutes. So for this specific version, we're going to be making some chickpea flour uh, scrambled egg. And um, so yeah, basically you need just chickpea flour. This is the cheapest one I could find. I know some people are also using organic, but uh, for this purpose, I'm just going to use this normal Asian market version. Um, just a standard mixing bowl. You're going to need some kind of plant milk of your choice. For me, it's um, my self-made oat milk, which actually will show in another video. And then the key to getting an egg flavor, which is, which is going to be universal in all the videos that I'm going to make about eggs, is you're going to, you're going to need kalanamak. This is also sometimes known as Himalayan black salt. This has that kind of sulfuric egg taste or egg smell, and this is what's going to really bring out that kind of egg flavor. And of course, just to add a little bit more to the flavor, some nutritional, um, nutritional yeast. For some reason, I couldn't find the flake ones this time, so I'm just having them in powder form. And then just some extra ingredients that I have, chose, I have um, just to add a little bit more flavor. I have a little, little chili. This came from my garden. A little tomato also came from my garden. And just a normal onion. So, okay, let's get to it. So to begin with, you're going to want to measure out uh, an amount of flour. Any kind of amount, you know, this is very generic, this is very open to everybody's proportions. <coughs> I'm just going to make a little bit just for my dinner and to show for the video. So I think maybe just like one cup's worth should be enough. So I'm going to probably fill maybe like the bottom part, to like maybe to the second row of, of dots. Okay, so that should be enough chickpea flour. We're going to mix this in here. Forget to mention we're gonna need some kind of whisk, which I can't seem to find mine now. So I'm just gonna use a standard fork. I need to remix here a bit um, plant my oat milk because this separates when it sits too long. And yeah, we just kind of mix in a little bit until we get a creamy flavor. So as you can see, you can start mixing, and we'll, this will eventually, I mean, this is kind of clumping up a little bit. If you also have, you have a power mixer, you can also probably use that if you want. Um, the idea is you want to get a kind of consistency a bit in the area of um, a little bit more liquid than what would be a pancake mix. So now we have our egg looks already kind of looks like a beet, a beet egg, no? Okay, and so now we're going to add a little bit of our we're gonna add a little a little bit of the black salt. Yeah, just a spoon tip should be enough. Just mix that in there. Wow, it really smells real, really like egg, yeah? Some nutritional yeast, just throw some in there. And actually, you know what, I decided now in the last minute, I wanna crack in some black peppers. Just give it one, one last little mix up. Now we're going to let this sitting for a little while and in the meantime we're going to we're going to heat our heat our pan here in the stove and we're going to chop up the onion <coughs> the tomato and the paprika
I always like to peel the outer skin of the, take off the first layer of the onion because I always find this kind of hard. So yeah, I mean, it's just to your, everybody each to their own liking, you know. Put this aside. Just give it a quick dice. Same with the other half. Okay, you can hear the oven, the frying pan already sizzling a little bit in the background. We're gonna grease it up with a little bit of coconut oil. So we're just gonna add a little spoon here of coconut oil. This melt through. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna start with, okay, we'll put the onion in. I know some people like to wait, and I also specifically, I'm one of the kind of people that actually like to wait that the oil is really hot, so the onion starts to sizzle directly, but for time saving purposes, we're just going to put the onion in onto the cold oil. For some reason, this this stove is actually takes a long time to reach its heating potential. So, so well, we just put that there for the moment. In the meanwhile, we're going to work on the little chili. And actually, I'm thinking now, as I'm cooking, that I'm probably going to leave the tomato raw and just mix that in at the end. I um, definitely want to cook this chili down because it seems like it's going to be sharp, spicy. I already feel it in my eyes. This is a really going to be a spicy, uh, spicy thingy. Okay, so this is ready. Let's just simmer the onions down until they get nice and soft. Anyway, so the point is, we, sizzle, we simmer the onions in the coconut oil until they become translucent, until the white, milky whiteness of it goes away. That looks good enough. I mean, for, for my opinion, I would leave it cooking a little bit longer, but just for time consuming purposes, let's say that's enough. Okay, so we just gave the batter a little bit of a quick last mix up because it had settled down again. Okay, and now we're just going to pour this in. Oops, I kind of missed a little bit the bowl. And you can see it's already here on the edge. It's starting to solidify almost the same way scrambled eggs would. And we just keep doing this. We keep mixing slowly. As you can see, it's already starting to form a bit the curds, so like, a, like similar to what a, what a real omelette would do. And we just keep pulling it in from the sides to the middle, keep folding it over. Because I want to do a scrambled egg, if you want to do an omelette, then you would just leave it as is. But then I probably would have done it with a lower heat, I guess. Evaporates out. And there you have it, our vegan scrambled eggs. I'm going to take it off the heat. Put it aside, this plate keeps the heat too long. As you can see, I missed a little bit when I put it in. And now I'm going to clean up and serve it pretty. <clears throat> okay, so I got everything cleaned up and prepared and nice and dressed up. So here you, we have some toasts with a little bit of my self-made um, sunflower butter, which I will show in another video how I make. This is like my staple for dinner, always bread with a little bit of the sunflower uh, butter. Some salad pickings directly from my balcony that I had shown before. 
the tomato that I had shown in the beginning of the video uh, sliced up raw. Here's my vegan egg scramble and I just dressed it up a little bit with fresh parsley also from my window that I had showed before and um, the fresh cut sunflower shoots from the microgreen video that I was showing before. So here we go. This is dinner is about 60% self-grown.